Tren Maya is Mexico's breathtaking rail project that's capturing the hearts of travelers worldwide. Imagine embarking on a journey that bridges the past and present, traversing through lush jungles, ancient ruins, and vibrant communities. That is exactly what the Tren Maya does. In today's video, we'll delve into the history, cultural significance, and the amazing sights that make Tren Maya a must-experience adventure. So buckle up as we dive into this unforgettable rail journey. Before we delve further into these extraordinary projects, don't forget to hit that subscribe button like, and share the video as it's the best way to help us grow as a channel. In the southeast of Mexico, the Yucatan Peninsula is a large piece of land that separates the Caribbean Sea from the Gulf of Mexico. From the blue waters of the Caribbean coast to the scattered Mayan sites in the interior, the Yucatan Peninsula has so much to offer that you will have to go back more than once to see it all. People often just call the Yucatan Peninsula the Yucatan, but it is made up of three states, the Yucatan, Campeche, and Quintana Roo. Quintana Roo is known by most people because it is home to Cancun, Playa del Carmen, Cozumel, and Tulum, which are all inclusive resorts with well-known beaches. Before the Spanish conquistadors came in the 16th century and took over, the Maya people lived in the Yucatan. Many people are part or all Maya, and the Mayan language is still spoken in many places, often along with Spanish, which is the main business language. Until the middle of the 20th century, most of the peninsula's trade with the rest of Mexico was done by sea. This meant that the peninsula's culture, food, and customs were different from those in other parts of Mexico. Since the end of the 20th century, the Yucatan has become more like the rest of Mexico, especially in places like Cancun and Chetumal on the Caribbean coast, where many people have moved to take advantage of the new economic possibilities. The most increase in tourism has been in the Mayan Riviera, which runs south from Cancun. Tren Maya is a visionary rail project in Mexico, connecting the Yucatan Peninsula's major attractions, cities, and ancient ruins through an intricate network of tracks. Its aim is to boost tourism, stimulate the local economy, and provide sustainable transportation options. Tren Maya isn't just about transportation, it's a journey through time and culture. The Yucatan Peninsula is rich in history, with ancient Mayan ruins, lush jungles, and vibrant communities. The train offers a unique opportunity to explore these treasures while learning about the local traditions and customs that shape the region's identity. The Tren Maya, also called the Maya Train Project, started in 2020 and will be finished in 2024. The goal of the Maya Train Project is to make travel easier and more accessible for tourists by giving them a reliable way to get from one famous place to another along its 1,500 kilometers track. The Mayan train was made to make 17 stops, including Cancun near Playa del Carmen, Puerto Morelos, and Tulum, before finishing in Bacalar, which is 40 miles from Belize. The Mayan train route is one of the most important infrastructure works being done by the Mexican government to increase tourism to the southeast of the country. This project will join the states of Chiapas, Tabasco, Campeche, Yucatan, and Quintana Roo, by building rail lines that are more than 1,500 kilometers long. There will be three different routes for the Maya train, which are the Gulf, Caribbean, and Jungle routes. The Caribbean route will go from Cancun to the southern tip of Quintana Roo, with stops in Puerto Morelos, Playa del Carmen, Tulum, and Bacalar. The Gulf route will go from Cancun to Merida, stopping at the ancient ruins of Chichen Itza before going south to Campeche. The jungle route will link the southern part of Quintana Roo to the southern part of Campeche State. Along the way, it will stop at the famous Calakmul Mayan Ruins site. In the first phase of the project, sections 1 through 4 will connect the stations from Palenque to Cancun. In the second phase, stations from Cancun to Escarcega will be connected by the last three sections. The sections of the first phase are 892 kilometers long, while the sections of the second phase will be 662 kilometers long. The train will have seven stops, including Palenque, Tabasco, Chiapas, Campeche, Merida, Playa del Carmen, and Tulum. The train is expected to start operating in December 2023. The construction of the Tren Maya is a big project that is expected to have a big effect on the Yucatan Peninsula. 
The train is supposed to make it easier to get from one city to another, bring in more tourists, and create jobs. Some places are upset about the Maya train. People have said that the project is bad for the environment, but the Mexican government said that the train would be built in a way that is good for the environment. The Tren Maya plan is to build a train track that goes near a lot of Mayan ruins, which some people say will damage the environment and destroy historical places. The Mayan train could damage the earth in many ways, such as by cutting down trees, making too much noise, and using up water reserves. 2.500 hectares of humid and dry forests, or about 8,736,000 trees, could be cut down during the construction of the Mayan train. Mexico has one of the highest rates of deforestation in the world. Noise pollution can also affect environment and the animals that live in them, making it harder for animals to hear their predators and making it harder for them to mate. The Yucatan Peninsula has a lot of water, especially water that comes from deep, which makes people worry. For the project to move forward, the Mexican government had to kick out more than 3,000 people from their homes. Even though many of these families were given help with living, most of them didn't like the sudden change. Like the invasive species that are hurting the environment, Tren Maya is also a big threat to the environment. Not only does it force people out of their homes, but it also disturbs more than 19,000 items and 160 graves. Parts of the intercity train system will go right through the rainforest, savannas, and mangroves. This will hurt the natural ecosystem and have a big effect on the endangered species that live in the area. Over 120 square kilometers of jungle have already been cleared for the building, and over 9 million trees have been cut down. Even so, the Mexican government says that building trains is better for the earth than building roads. They also say that the construction won't hurt the environment too much because most of it was built on top of tracks that were already there. Authorities also say that overpasses and underpasses built especially for wildlife will help them get from one place to another without getting hurt. Tren Maya kept running because the government insisted on it. That is, until the project hit another snag not long ago. This year, a new path was proposed that would go over a set of sacred underwater caverns that are in danger of collapsing once the tracks are built on top of them. People were upset and worried about the train, so the court finally put a temporary stop to its growth. Recent sources say that even though there have been delays, work will continue on a section of the railway. As we conclude our captivating exploration of the Mayan train, it's evident that this rail project is more than just transportation. It's an immersive experience that weaves together history, culture, and nature in an unparalleled way. The treasures of the Yucatan Peninsula await your discovery, and the Mayan train is your gateway to an unforgettable adventure. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. What do you think about this project? Feel free to leave your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Until next time, see you soon.